Website Evaluation. Why do our students need to learn this, and how can we teach them? Why do our students need to know how to evaluate a website? This is an important question to consider. Our students are prolific users of the internet, including social media, but they don't often know how to determine whether the information they are viewing is true or false. Case in point, take a look at this prompt I gave my students. Too many of them didn't even question the validity of the post. When much of the information posted online is false or unreliable, how can we teach our students to be sure they are reading and passing on credible, accurate information? Now that we know why it's important for our students to evaluate online information critically, let's take a look at how they can do it. This YouTube video by the Gulf Coast State College Library outlines a good, quick way to evaluate websites. First, check the currency. Is the information presented on the web page current or recently updated? Next, check for relevance. Is everything on the page about the subject students are researching? Then, check out the author of the information. Is the writer of the information an expert on the subject? If there is no writer listed, is the publisher reputable? Also, check for accuracy. Is the information verifiable on other websites? Are words on the site correctly spelled? Is the site free of grammar errors? Do all of the links on the site work? A no to these checks indicates a lack of professionalism and students might want to find a better site. Finally, check the site's purpose. This can usually be found by checking out the website's about link. Is the purpose of the site informative? Do any other organizations sponsor them? If so, might the information be biased or one-sided? This site discloses they earn a commission on the links they provide. Students might want to verify the information found on this site just to be sure. One other check that can be performed is a reverse image check. Sites like tini.com and Google Reverse Image can show students the online history of the image and can take them to the original image posted. This clues students in to whether or not the image has been altered. As teachers and parents, there are a number of ways we can teach our students about website evaluation. Hyperdoc lessons, videos, resource websites, and games are all great ways to be sure our students are knowledgeable consumers of internet information.